Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, Maya tutorial. Uh, today I want to show you guys how to create a uh, twisted piece of rope. Um, it's not that difficult. Uh, I think it's an intermediate level and I'm not going to explain all the basic functions, but if you've got any questions just uh, let me know in the comments. Alrighty, let's start. So make sure you're in the polygons menu. Go to create and hit CV curve tool. Now we're going to plot a line for our future piece of rope. And make sure you got a nice bend in there somewhere. Something like so. All right. So when you got that done, hit the Q button to exit that function. And as you can see, the line is now selected. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to create a material that we're going to use for the uh, the body of the rope, so to speak. And I'm going to use a uh, cylinder to do that. You can hit cylinder in the polygons menu or you can go to uh, create polygons cylinder. All right. So click on cylinder, drag and drag. And as you can see, way too many subdivisions. So I'm just going to adjust that. Hit Control A. Go to your polished cylinder. Now I'm going to leave the uh, axis uh, divisions like that. Otherwise, it's not going to be round anymore. But I'm going to pull that down and pull that down because you don't really, well, maybe so. You don't really need all that. And I'm going to hit Five for shaded mode. Now I'm going to delete most of the. Uh, the cylinder that I just created. So I'm going to go to my four view and either select my front or my side view. In this case, side view. Hover over that area, hit the space bar. I'm going to right click on the object, go to face mode, and drag select the object. Don't select everything, just go to about here. Hit delete. Now, it looks like the whole thing is gone, but that's not the case. I'm going to go back to my perspective view. And as you can see, the surface is right there. Now, I'm going to right click that, go to object mode, select it, hit W, move it up, and hit the E button to rotate it. Preferably exactly 90 degrees. But in order to check that, control A, go to my Z axis and change that to 90. That gives me the first shape. Now, uh, why the first shape? I want to create a twisted rope, so I'm going to create four of these uh, circles. I already got one selected, so I'm going to hit control D and hit W to move it over. Something like that. Control D again, go down, Control D again, and move over like so. Now, one's already selected, so I'm going to shift select the other three. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to hit mesh and combine. So now that's one object. Now I need to scale that down a lot, but as you can see, my central pivot point is over here and I want it in the middle. So I'm going to hit the insert key, which will change it into a little circle here. Drag it roughly to the middle and go to my four view to make sure that I'm actually in line with my object, something like that. And I'm going to hit W. Go back to perspective view and it's more or less in the middle. We'll tweak that a little bit. Nope. Um, hang on. Insert key. Like so. And like so. All right. I can live with that. All right. Now I need to scale it down a lot. So I'm going to hit the R button. And yes, I know I pronounce R funny, but I'm not a pirate. And I'm not English either, so my apologies for my English. Okay, something like so. I'm going to hit the F key to zoom in. 
And now I want the end of the line that I created centered in the middle of these four circles. So where's the start of my line? It's over there. So I'm going to start to move that towards the uh, four circles that I created. Okay, and I'm going to go to my four view, otherwise you're going to be dragging that around forever. And see if that will help us out any. It's a bit difficult to see. Okay. I'm going to actually select my circles and move that around because that's easier. Okay. Something like that. I'm going to move in. Okay. Not too bad. Something like so. Okay. Now, we got that done. The thing is, if I now select my line and my, uh, my circles and I hit extrude, you're not going to get the rope that you're hoping for. Reason is, there are no subdivisions in my circles, so the only way it can go is straight out. So when I hit extrude, don't think it went wrong because it's going to look weird and we have to adjust that. So I'm going to select the line. I'm going to shift select my objects and I'm going to go to mesh. Uh, sorry, edit mesh and hit extrude. Like I said, straight line. Looks really funny. Now I need to adjust my divisions in this line here to make it, uh, to create the ability to bend. I can do that here or go into control A. I'll do it here. And I'm going to move that to, let's say, 500. And as you can see, it created the rope, but problem is it's not twisted yet and I think that's pretty important because that's the whole idea here so we need to go and change the twist value so I'm gonna go to control A and here is the twist value now I'm gonna zoom in so you can see that right now it's not twisted and I'm gonna change that value to let's say 5000 And there we go. There's your twisted rope. So, uh, yeah. Hope you like it. Hope it's helpful. And uh, see you again next time. Thank you.